Dino on the scene here for the Rogers Review and 96.7 FM WERA Radio Arlington. Here with me, if you are a fan of American crime, if you are a fan of how to get away with murder, standing next to this man intimidates me a lot, but he is the 2017 Raul Julia Award winner, Benito Martinez. How are you doing today? Hey, nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That's a great introduction. Huh? That is a, thank, you. thank you. Thank you very much. Huh? Anytime. So how does it feel to win the Raul Julia Award for 2017 this year? It's, it's really surreal because I've been a supporter of this organization for many, many years. I love what they do, why they do it, and how they do it. Uh, so to be on the other end of, of I've always been a presenter or a supporter, to, to be on this end of it is quite flattering. Absolutely. And you are known to fans around the world for both American crime, especially How to Get Away with Murder. My wife and I watch the show, oh, right. especially as ADA Todd Denver. What was it like to work in that wonderful, amazing series and American crime? It's been great. I've been tagging both of those off and on for the last two years. So it's been well, three years. So, uh, you know, working with Viola Davis, you know, amazing actress, Oscar winner. They write good stuff for me. It's, it's been wonderful. So what made you want to become an actor in the first place? I kind of fell into it. My mom started a theater company and we just, the whole family just started acting with the theater company and it was a skill I learned as a kid and then uh, I realized it would allow me more opportunities in life. I then went to performing arts high school, got serious about it, went to drama school, uh, an academy in London, got mm -hmm. serious about it and I've been working ever since. That's amazing. And I found out something you have in common with both Esai and Jimmy, you both, all three of you, were on How to Get Away with Murder at one point, and you were all presidents of the United States at one time. So I gotta ask, if you were president of the United States right now, what would be your first thing that you would want to do? <laughs> I, I guess I would quote, uh, quote Ronald Reagan. He said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down that wall. Yep. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> We sent to that effect, but not Mr. Gorbachev. Uh, I don't know, it, it, that's a grand question. I don't want to make light of it. I think it's a very serious question. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, first thing though, I would act with more compassion and more dignity. We have a great leader in showing us how to behave yeah. with Obama. And I would follow in those footsteps mm -hmm. and less in the footsteps that are happening right now. Absolutely. One last question. My last question is, what do you want to say to the people who are listening and watching this and they want to pursue the arts one day. What would you tell them and why? It's an old quote, but don't let anyone tell you no. If you want to make, if you want to be an artist and draw a painting, paint, paint every day. And no matter what anybody says about it, keep doing it. You want to be an actor or a singer, do it every day, no matter what anybody else says. If you truly want to be an artist. I cannot follow it up. Thank you very much, Benito. Perfect.